I call this program RAT. It actually stands for two separate things. Number one, I like the attributes of the RAT. And number two, it is an acronym for Rapid Assault Tactics. We are getting in, we're ending the altercation, and we're getting out in a very surgical and barbaric way. In a street fight, it's important to survive. That is the number one thing. A lot of martial arts out there use different animals to duplicate or imitate. For example, the tiger, the lion, the crane. I would rather use the rat myself. A rat is a survivor. A rat will survive a nuclear holocaust. You can drop him out of a two-story building, flush him down a toilet. Whatever the rat does, he's going to survive. They're all over the world. This is what we want to do. We want to be a survivor. Hi, I'm Paul Vunak, and what you're about to learn is called the rat system. I developed this for the military. What this system teaches you to do is actually functionalize your techniques, turns you into a street fighter. The process by which most martial artists learn and internalize their techniques takes five phases. Number one, they learn the technique. Number two, they practice the technique. Number three, finally after practicing for years and years, they master it. Mastering a technique does not mean that you know how to fight. It simply means that you know how to do the technique well. Now we come to the most difficult part. Number four, functionalizing the technique. That's what this tape is all about. That's what the interactive part is all about. We're developing the attributes that are the foundation in learning how to functionalize the techniques. And then finally, we have number five, maintain the technique, meaning you've got to get off your rear end, put down the bonbons, and train once in a while. So what we have is five phases, learn, practice, master, functionalize, and maintain. We've done all the thinking for you. We've taken out all the guesswork. I've taken this enormous floodlight of information and condensed it into a laser beam, and that's what this system is. We've got a lot of information to cover, and what I'd like to do is explain to you exactly what our rapid assault tactics are all about. I've taken a floodlight of information, and I've condensed it into a laser. I've taken only the applicable moves for street fighting, all of the drills, all of the tactics. Quick announcement. I've got some ultra brutal fight any moves that I am not allowed to share with you here. They're ugly, vicious, lethal moves. They're also surprisingly simple to learn. Outside the US Special Forces, not a lot of guys know these, but when it hits the fan and your life is on the line and you need something truly nasty to end the fight in a couple of seconds, you're gonna wanna know this stuff. It's brutal hand-to-hand -hand training that's yours for free. Just get to the description below and click on the link. Okay, back to our video. First of all, we have to understand we have to enter. If we do not enter in a street fight, we cannot get in to the most lethal range to terminate the fight, which is headbutts, knees, and elbows. So everything starts from an entry. Most martial arts kick and punch or grapple. When they're out in long range, they're throwing bombs at us. We cannot trade bombs with people. This will not work. It does not matter what style it is, hard style, soft style, linear, circular, we cannot trade bombs. So in order to enter, we have to either intercept or destroy. An interception and a destruction both have the same thing in common. They inflict pain, instantaneous pain. Now, once we've received, or the opponent has received, the instantaneous pain, then we go into pressure. Pressure is the single most important facet of this program. Pressure is from an art called Wing Chun, and it's borrowed from a technique called the Jek Chun Choi, the straight blast. This was one of Bruce Lee's biggest revelations. Once the opponent feels pressure, the 50-yard dash basically down his center line, then we terminate the fight. And in order to terminate the fight, we use the three most barbaric tools on the body, the headbutts, the knees, and the elbows. These are the most important tools. So this program is a microcosm of 30 years of work. And this is the way I use to teach our military and every other organization that does not have the time to spend training day after day. It's called rapid assault tactics. We are assaulting the opponent in the most rapid way. And the tactics are entry, pressure, and termination. The problem innate with video techniques is that you can learn the techniques. The students can plug in the tape and they can learn the techniques, but they're not actually learning the attributes. And it's the attributes responsible for pulling off the techniques. What we're doing here is we're duplicating the conditions of you training with me one-on-one. -on -one. 
Now we're going to go to interactive mode. Interactive mode means we have to change your mindset. You do not have to actually be in sparring with whomever to get the same reflexes, to get the same line familiarization, to get the same timing. You can actually move like this person without actually being there. For example, Aaron, if she were to fire an angle two at me, the appropriate response is to hit that glove. Every time she comes in, bam, I'm hitting that glove. Now, if she were to back up about three feet where I cannot reach the glove and fires that angle, I do the same thing. The exact same move is being done without actually making contact. Wouldn't matter if I am hitting her, if she's three feet away, or if she's 30 feet away. Back up more. Hit me again, please. Good. The concept here is you do not actually physically have to be in with somebody to get the same attributes. And that's what we're trying to give you. We're going to start off with our punches. We're going to progress to our kicks. Let's take a look at what it looks like doing an interactive training without actually doing it on your TV set. Okay, Aaron. We're moving around. The correct response against this jab would be an elbow destruction. Boom. Every time I come in, boom, she rocks back. She rocks back. Well, if we back up about three feet and I come in, she does the same move. Let's say, for example, now I shoot a thigh kick. Okay, if I shoot a thigh kick, the response is going to be a destruction. She's going to hit my shin every time I kick. Again, she doesn't have to be there to do the same response, to get the same attributes. Back up, please. We're moving around. I shoot the kick. Boom. Maybe a punch comes. Maybe a kick. So she's actually interacting with me without being there. And this is the concept. Many fighters have used this uh, concept before. Bruce Lee, Muhammad Ali, Dan and Asano. This is nothing new. You don't have to be in front of the individual to actually spar with them. You can be six inches away. You can be six yards away. If you have that kind of a mind, that interactive mind, this will take you to a whole new level. Hey, don't forget about those deadly hand-to-hand -hand moves. This training is yours for free from the link in the description. I honestly don't know how long I'll be allowed to give this stuff away here as it's pretty over-the-top stuff. So get to the description right away. What Jack is doing here against me, he could do against literally any and every boxer that's ever fought on television. You could do this against kickboxers. You could do this against any human being. Actually interact with them without being in the ring. Now, for our first round, I'd like you to see the form that we use and the distance that we keep. This is the infrastructure of the whole tape. Without this, you can't begin the destructions. The boxer keeps his hands here. We'd like to keep our hands higher, more like the Thai boxer, predicating everything upon hitting our elbows. Everything is based on an elbow destruction. So watch how Jack and I move around, and watch how we keep the same range back and forth. We're not going to throw any punches. We're just going to show you the form. If you don't keep that form while you're moving, and if your hands drop down to here, it will be very difficult to move on to our next move. Now that we're up in interactive mode, I want you to see the first technique we're going to do, which is a jab. Everything, again, has to come from this position. When the jab comes in, I'm going to do the normal parry. This is just stepping back and patting the jab. About one out of every three times, I'll do the destruction. So I'll pat the jab, boom, and you'll see Jack shooting the jab in my elbow. Okay, Jack.
Good. So as you see, from this movement, the movement is very simple. I'm just rocking back and letting the jab run right into the elbow. Now we're going to start with a jab. First of all, I recommend you get about three feet from your television set. Get your hands up and start moving around. From that position, we will fire our first defense. Now for our next move, we're defending against the cross. Again, we're not blocking. You notice you never see anything passive. Even a parry is passive. We're always trying to destroy the blow. So against the jab from this position, I just took a little step back and let the jab run right into the elbow. Okay, again, a little step back and let the jab run right into the elbow. Now for the cross, we want to get out of the way a little bit more. We are more fearful of the cross. The jab is more like a fly, a pesty fly. A cross, you have to always keep your eye out for. So we want to do the same move, but we roll over that shoulder a little bit more. I don't want you to expose this. I don't want this. I want from this position, you're rolling and it runs right into the elbow. That's the idea. Okay, Thomas. As you see, a very simple move, but no defense. Everything is a destruction. Final notice about that lethal fight ending training. It's simple, easy to learn, and devastatingly effective training taught to special forces, but typically not to civilians. You can get it free in the description. Just hurry, I doubt very much that this will be around for long. I'll see you inside. Now for our next technique, we're going to do the cross. The defense against the cross is the same thing, the elbow destruction. Every time I fire the cross in, I want you to take a half step backward and raise your elbow and destroy the punch. Try to align your elbow with the punch.
you're watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct, hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.